So you are playing your favorite game and receive a message on Discord or Skype if you're still living in 2010 and you open Skype or your second screen and it instantly drives you crazy that your game has minimized because Windows is like that. Here are a couple apps you can use to mitigate that. Both the apps that we're looking at today have plenty other features other than what we be talking about today. We're going to be focusing on not losing focus of the game window and launching apps on a particular monitor by default. The apps in question are Display Fusion and Actual Multiple Monitors. Both of these apps also support mirroring your taskbar from the main screen to the secondary. Now Windows 10 can do this almost perfectly but it doesn't copy over system tray icons which you need if you want to exit background apps while your game is running. Let's look at actual multiple monitors first. Download it from its website and at $25 it's a bargain considering what it's capable of. The default hotkey for preventing a window from losing focus is Control alt shift i which stands for ignore. You can obviously customize it but here's a demo. Hop on a game of your choice, make sure it's set to full screen Hit your hotkey, I'm going to press it. Now I won't make any noise in case of actual multiple monitors, but now when you click off the screen onto your second monitor, say Discord, the game will stay on the second screen once you're done chatting away. Switch back to the game just by clicking on it and start playing it again. I wish Windows could do this natively, but this is the only way. You can even choose which apps open on which monitor by default. As you can see here, I've set Discord to always open on my laptop screen, which is the secondary screen in this case. So I've never had to drag and drop it ever again. You can do that by going into settings here and select per app setting as you like. There's also this one useful setting here, which opens the app that you launch on the screen where the mouse cursor is currently located in. Here's an example. If I go to my second monitor and press Windows E, which is File Explorer shortcut, it opens there. If I move to the main screen, press Windows E, it opens there. Very intuitive and how it should have been in the first place. Display Fusion is a very similar to what actual multiple monitors can do. It comes slightly more expensive than actual multiple monitors at $29. I got it from Humble Bundle back in 2016 and never used it because I was always using one monitor, but you can find it on Steam sale quite often. In the end, it all comes down to two personal preference, which you choose because they have similar features implemented in a different way. You can see this brief tour on both of these apps as to what you can do. And for the folks who are wondering if the game not losing focus feature would work with just a single monitor setup, it does. So if you want to uh, buy it just for that, you can still do it. I'll leave the links to both the applications down in the description below. These apps start to become more and more useful as you start adding more screens to your setup. So definitely consider that. If you want me to make a detailed video on a single app or a single feature of either of these apps, let me know down in the comments below and um, I'll make sure to do that. Also smash that like button if you found this video helpful. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell if you want to watch more content like this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.